What's up, bro? It's Nerp here, and welcome to another ranked match video. And I'm gonna play mono energy structures in today's video. Um, what do I sacrifice? I guess. Sorry about that. One second. Sorry everybody for this unprofessionalism, I'll be back in like 20 seconds. Hello. Oh no, when I was gone, I got languided. That's the worst. Alright, but um, what was I gonna say? So yeah, this is back to back ranked videos. I'm sorry, but I'm trying to rank up. Not helping when I lose a lot though. I actually just tried to record a ranked match video, and I was like, about to lose the match, and um, like for some reason my computer crashed, and that wasn't good. Hmm, um, I could pump the forge and go for a machine chat next to me, that only does two. So I'm going to check the poster of the cars, hopefully I get a uh, structure. Um, I'm going to spark this. Because, um, I can machine chat it later. Like, very soon. Maybe I'll machine chat something else. Alright, uh, Spark kills him, machine chant also kills him, but I can't use machine chant. I have to play the, the clock library. I don't like to be sacking that Spark. Curse Marker's not a huge deal. Three attack is not, nothing to sneeze at, though. Uh, so yeah. Structure energy versus decay, protect the idols. I figured I haven't played a uh, structure energy in a long time in a video. So uh, I do that. And believe it or not, this is actually a counter deck because I just lost a flare. I, what I was just saying is, I was just trying to record a rank match and my computer crashed. It was versus flare. He was, I was growth, he was this decay deck probably. And um, I lost. I'm just going to go ahead and kill the harvester here. Get it out of the way. And I'd rather this thing die, so I'll make sure the gun auto spawns back here. These little things might help me win the game. But, um, yeah, so I use this deck to counter him because, as we know, structures are pretty strong against the K. But we definitely have to watch out for idle damage. Like, honestly, Yolo Decay might beat structure energy because of all the dark idle damage. It's very slow for me to win, it's gonna take a while. And he curses. He curses that. Interesting. I don't. I don't see why you wouldn't just want to do three damage to it because that just does immediate damage and more damage, and the two curse. But whatever. And he's putting stuff on the board. We need to. I don't. I don't like getting that divinator. And I get a sudden eruption. Um. I'm gonna play a sudden eruption just yet. I'm gonna pump twice. Okay. Not going too well so far. 
So I was about to lose the last match, but then my computer screwed up, and then I lost the recording, so that sucks. Hmm. I could sudden eruption next turn. That might not be too bad. So he's going to do a bunch of damage to the forge. Moving up. I'm not too threatened just yet, because... Yeah, I'm just, I'm not too threatened just yet. Okay. I could sudden eruption. I have incendiaries just for facing out the enemy. Yes, like I don't even know. I should take it out of the, this deck by now. I need more structures. Um, I really wish that diviner also I didn't have to sacrifice. I could go for the sudden eruption. Probably destroy you. I'll see, he has like a bunch of uneasy alliances. This thing is probably safe, so we don't have to destroy you just yet. Um, I'll sacrifice the incendiaries, and that's very good. Awesome. That was like a perfect draw. Another forge and then divinator. Perfect. Um, I'll put the divinator right here. We'll be back when that clock lever goes off next turn. And it's looking good. We're getting a lot of. We have two forges on the board. Even though one forge is probably gonna die this turn, or maybe he's gonna curse this. Or no, he still steals. I was gonna die to. Um, I was gonna die to the poison anyway. So I'm not too annoyed by that. I'd like to get another machine chance so I can ramp up for sudden eruption very soon. He's getting things on the board. The watch out for the, when he like necker and then another soul steal. Okay, so at least those things die to stuff like thunder surge and sudden eruption. Um, let's see. So now we get a bunch of scrolls, and now we're just gonna ramp up. We're just gonna ramp up. Um, pretty good draws actually. I have to get rid of that thing. I'm gonna burn you. I don't disperse all that's what I use to get rid of that thing. And I'm going to sacrifice the clock library to get the smuggler in the yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. You already use like two soul steals, so not too worried. You could necker again this coming turn. A little bit worried about that. But it should be okay. And my divinator is not going to do anything this next turn because I have no structures that would take it besides the forge, but it's already at one countdown. Sex for scrolls, so not going to necro. Maybe a witch doctor, brain lace. Okay, on that, fine. There's really not much of a point to be putting down. Actually, well, he's wasting some tempo putting that brain lace down. Okay, so now if I sudden eruption, the harvester likely goes off. And we don't want that. But these things are attacking me. I think I have sudden eruption this turn. Yeah, I've got to. I've, I've got to. I've got to. So I'll just do it. Okay, um. Wasn't too good. But I am almost to draw a bunch of his stuff. That's really all that matters. So now the rest of his stuff down ties to another sudden eruption. So I need to get like ether pumps now. Where are my ether pumps? Reaping mask. What he plays reaping mask? Oh boy. Um, mortar's good, but I'll have to sacrifice that. Oculus cannon spark. Go for an Oculus Cannon, a Machine Divinator, and spark you while you don't have a Witch Doctor next to you. Move you here. So it's, it's even though he had a nice turn last turn, um, I'm still doing okay. Okay, that's languided. I really have to sustain bar control for me to win this game, and he hasn't done much idle damage yet. I def definitely, a part of him definitely wanted to uh, just like take out an idol, the harvester. Okay, so now we want, like, kind of want that VD back. Um, let's see. Salt Giant. Oh, that's good. 
really wish I could just like use it right now. You know, what, I'm gonna sack the sudden eruption. I like that solemn giant. Ether pump. Oh, that's good also. Um. I'm gonna get the Solomon Giant down, I think. And the Ether Pump. Yeah. Put the Solomon Giant. We move you here. You up. Solomon Giant. And then Ether Pump. Back. Here. I don't want you doing any damage to my idols. Okay. Not too bad. So now, if we want, we can sack resources next turn and play Vaculus Cannon and pump the Forge. I mean, not the Forge, the Giant. If he Damon Curses the... If he Damon Curses uh, one of my things this turn, this or this, this Harvester will not attack yet. It will have one countdown, so we really have to get, have a way to destroy that thing. I mean, I'm afraid because it has 11 attack, so it could just go through this row and destroy this Oculus Cannon, too. I want to get a structure up in front here. That would be really important. How much health is on this row right now? 7 plus 5 is 12. So yeah, he's almost destroying this row. So if he's like a grizzly graft and like is up to an exit, I'm kind of dead. Okay, he's just placing creatures right now. Threatening for a later necker again with like a watcher. But at least that harvester is not going out this turn, I don't think. And... Okay, so he's making sure I can't use the harvester to kill that. Meyer curse, okay. Takes out that. Okay, um Useless Contraption and Oculus Cannon. Um I'll sack the useless contraption, I yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll sack the useless contraption. And I'll go ahead and play the ether pump and an oculus cannon up here as well that should keep him on his toes and I'll move this so it's not like in the way of like touching and one second Okay, uh, another Raping Mask. Kills the Aetherpalm, that's pretty annoying. Um, sack the Incendiaries for cards. Let's see, I have to, I have to get rid of that. Um, let's burn the Rod Eater. Sudden Eruption is good for next turn. A Damon Curse by him would... Yeah, a Damon Curse for him would make this Harvester go off. Um... Should I put the Forge in front there for extra health? What would that do? That's six health, or let's just say five with that. So let's, let's make that four. So five plus four is nine plus three is 12 and I might be able to still call my row but I think I think it's what I'm gonna do okay oh. that 
Reaping Mass Harvester. <laughs> Give me a VD, please. Or Machine Champ. If he has a Damage Curse, he could. I just noticed he could actually just Damage Curse to Psalm Giant and then destroy these two things. Yeah, it looks like that's what he's doing. Because he's going to get the buff from on the Rod Eater with this. And he's moving down, so yeah. Yeah, okay. So those things are going to go down. But again, that's not doing a lot of idle damage. It's doing a lot of damage to me. But I really need to get some... Some balance dispersals. He's going to start getting other thrusts on the board. I'm not going to be able to keep up. Okay. Um... Yes, burn is gonna kill you next turn. I almost want a sudden eruption this turn. I'm gonna keep sudden eruption. That was pretty good. Okay, so I'll go with the. This thing is a huge problem. He's healing up. I need. A, I just need a valve dispersal. Which this guy. I need a valve dispersal. I'm just gonna wait until I get one of those. Um. Let's go ahead and set our sudden eruption this turn. No. I'll just go ahead and place another ether pump. And a mortar. I could the mortar, but then he's just destroying it. I'll just let him get a bunch of elder damage this next turn. Believe me, I don't like doing that. Alright. Well, at least this harvest is gonna die with a burn. But I really, really need a bounce dispersal to get rid of that that life sealer. Because every other turn he's just able to destroy like a structure a structure or do massive idol damage. Hmm. Burn. Probably gonna. This might be a better burn target. Maybe we'll just send a rush next turn. Let's see. Second resources, brain lice. Another life steal later. Okay. It's not too bad. If you get another reaping mask on that, it's a big problem. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and burn this instead of that right now. Just get it out of the way, because I, want, I might want to play this proximity charges turn, so I'll burn that. Yeah, and I'll play the proximity charges. As it stands, this uh, ether is going to go off next turn, as long as this machine divinator is not killed. Um, so how am I going to make this so it move you here and place proximity charge there. Okay. Good. Okay, I do like my state of the board. I do have Thunder Surge in hand, Sun Eruption in hand. Wish I had a Bounce Spursal in hand. I think I definitely have a Bounce Spursal or two in these last couple cards in the deck. Witch Doctor and Black Bear. Okay, um. Machine. Oh no, there wasn't 100% of this, 50% chance of it hitting, um. Machine Divin are moving this Oculus Cannon down. I forgot about that. Uh, we have a lot of structures. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Machine Chat would do 7, which would kill this guy because of the Ether Pump. So I guess that's good. Yeah. So I'll sacrifice the hired smuggler. Hope I can get like a three cost structure. Nah, but that's fine. So I'll go with the machine chain on you. And then I think I'm gonna want to Do I wanna push and resistance anything? I guess I could. What would be the point though? I'm not, I'm not going to push on resistance anything. I think we're fine right now, where we are. Now come on, hit the witch doctor. Ah, oh, so close. Okay. And we should be getting a bounce dispersal soon, too. I want to use that machine chant before my deck recycles, though, because I want it to be, I want there to be three in the next deck recycle. 
little things like that can be good. And a scrolls match. Okay. And these two ether pumps are pretty good in the board now, but a divinator is gonna die. But again, it's dying before the deck resets, so I'll have three in the deck. There's one of those. He's just doing slow idle damage. I'm gonna have to get some Psalm Giants sooner or later, okay. And he's really filling up the board now, so I have to be really have to watch out. Um there's a bounce dispersal on a machine chant. A lot of things die. Let's get rid of Let's get rid of at least one of these things, right? I wish I had enough resources to blow up both. I really do wish I had enough resources to blow up both. Um I saw the machine chant. I'm gonna sack the potion resistance. Thunder Surge. I really wish I can get some structures. Um. Oh man. Oh no, I could still. Oh yeah, I have 39 decks in my gra graveyard, so I can still machine chant without the deck recycling. So I'll get rid of the thing that is attacking just in case he does not like Watcher Good in this coming turn. I guess that's gonna have to be my turn. If he Watcher Good in this turn, it could do a lot of damage to me. He only has three scrolls, so I might not have it. Even if he does, he might be, might be a little greedy and want to want to wait until he has more creatures on the board. Looks like he's... Maybe? I don't know. He might be doing it. Okay, he is going to wait a little bit. I do have ten resources now, so now I can do more awesome stuff in one turn. I don't have any ether pumps going off this coming turn. Um, forge is good. Ah, not looking too good. Let's sack for scrolls. See if we can get another machine chat. That's good, of course. Let's get rid of. Let's get rid of this guy. Let's play a forge. All right. Enough resource now, so I can balance dispersal and blender search at the same turn. Reaping mask. So you're gonna do a bunch of damage. Okay, so we have to. Actually, no. This is gonna destroy these two guys. Yes, yeah, so we don't have to do. At all. I definitely have to balance dispersal that, and then I have five resources left. Um. If I thunder surge, that wouldn't really do much, would it? No, I'm not gonna thunder. I could double thunder search here and destroy both of these guys. I'm gonna sack the thunder search for cards. Sun eruption. <laughs> I guess I'll just I were all right. I'll just go with the bounce dispersal. You're gonna take out a bunch of stuff. Uh, I could play a forge. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna play a forge and a smuggler. Play the swangler here because I don't want him doing any idle damage at this point in the game. Okay. That's pretty good. Now that, that thing's poisoned, so I think should go down soon. But man, our, idle, our idles are low. We need to get a solemn giant soon. Let's see. And this thing's going to do three damage to an idle. Alright, so he is going to do much idle damage. Goes right in front there. Really good on that. Like, he's not putting down creatures. I'd rather the, him do this stuff than put down creatures. Especially not witch doctors and harvesters. Was a harvester. Okay. It's getting very low on idols. Um. Huh. 
Five. It's an eruption or thunder surge, like. This is gonna die as a thing, so these guys are gonna be at two health. Which isn't good enough. I'm gonna sack one sudden eruption. Divinator, that was a good draw. It's pretty good that he got the mash on to go right next to them. Otherwise, I could clear his board. Actually, if I thunder search here, that's going to make you guys have two health each. Yeah. Wouldn't wouldn't do good enough. So I'll put you here. I'm going to protect a little bit. Actually. I don't like where I put that. I put a prox charge over here, right in the middle of things. That probably wasn't too good either. Don't love that. Prox charge right in the middle of my board. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, come on, Solemn Giants. Come to, come to me. And it would be really nice if I can get this Machine Diviner to hit this Ether Clump this turn. Because then I could... Or actually, no, because he's being players being very smart. Okay, so that thing goes down. And now. Uh, go with a mortar. Potion resistance. And a clock library up here. Should put it down here to protect that idol. Right now he wins pretty easily. Yeah, let's protect this idol. Those reaping masks actually do a lot of idle damage. Right now he wins with four, four loyal darklings. And he has reaping masks in the deck also. So I really, really, really need to get a Solemn Giant out. Where are they? I think I have three in this deck. Well, those two ether are going off this coming turn. And I didn't watch her again this turn, so... I think that, uh... It's just gonna be a raise against the clock now of ether pumps versus Are you just gonna die? Alright, well Oh <sighs> so what's gonna die here? What's gonna die? I could sudden eruption and then everything dies. I need eight for that. So I'm gonna keep the uh mortar. Um yeah, I guess that's what I'm gonna do. I'll play the Oculus game because I can do idle damage. So I'm playing the Oculus scan and then I got a sudden eruption. And now just a race against the clock. I have to destroy stuff before they have Reaping Sun on them, and I have to destroy all. And I just have to hope he doesn't have Loyal Darklings. All right. Well, here we are. Come on. Solemn Giants. He's five scrolls and nine resources. That's pretty scary. He's just gonna. Now he has to just try to get idle damage. So he's not gonna plow in there anymore. I have enough stuff on the board. He's probably just searching for scrolls. Um. I guess I'm gonna pump this. Because I want more things to do idle damage. And.
another mortar. Sure. Okay. The divinator makes it so these things don't count down too. Still attacking for scrolls. With these proximity cards in the middle, I might need like two Psalm Giants. Well, he's probably holding a damn cursing when I come up with a Psalm Giant. Hmm. There's first Darkling. Second Darkling. Third Darkling? Not yet. And he's four Darklings, actually. Well, Reaping Mass, too, and stuff like that. Um. Okay. Let's get these things at least before they, uh. Really hurt me. Spurn. Spark. I think that's all I'm gonna do. Some giants. I'm halfway through the second deficit cycle. I haven't seen some giant in the second deck cycle yet. He's just searching now because he knows that whatever he does will just get destroyed. Still no solemn giant. I'm just gonna start trying to get more card draw for myself. Let's burn you. Senderies, that's not what I want. Let's play a clock library. And I don't know. I guess I'll pump you. Come on, where are my Psalm Giants? This would be great times, just like run them out there. I just do a lot of damage pretty quickly because he's not doesn't have anything on the board protecting his idols. Alright, is he gonna do stuff now? Okay. I have to destroy those before he gets a Reaping Mass on them, so I'm gonna destroy them this turn. Psalm Giant. Still not Psalm Giant, but I will go for a double machine chant. I don't even have space on my side of the board for those sun giants. Witch Doctor. And a Blight Bear. Where the heck are these Solemn Giants? I don't want to use it. I guess I have to kill this this turn. Let's not because he's on top of that the low idol. He's not next to the low idols. So I guess we don't have to kill it this turn. Okay. Come on, hit it. Yes! Yes! <laughs> that actually is pretty important. That extra little idle damage, and he doesn't have a creature to, to like put that Reaping Mass on. Oof. Life Stealer. We, we are gonna have to mount this person with that. And Hunter. Okay, come on. Divinia, that's pretty good. We can't even sack for scrolls anymore, okay. Where the heck are the Solemn Giants? Um, let's mount this person with this. Both of these are going off, so you're going to have three, uh... Let's go ahead and sack the clock library. Check the hearts. You can have resources. Let's go ahead and... 
spark. No, I'm gonna put the machine divinator down. No, we need we need space on the board. I'm gonna spark this. I don't feel totally good about doing that. Okay. Let's not destroy that thing. It's my turn. I should be able to draw a solemn giant or two, please. That clock lever is going off. Languid life stealer. Okay, it's okay right now. There's a solemn giant. Um, let's start by burning this because we want to be able to destroy the idol right now. Two Psalm Giants, of course. I have to get rid of this, don't I? There was a problem I drew them so late because now I'm not going to get them for the next deck recycle. Obviously, gonna have a damage curse. I'm sure he's been holding on to them. <laughs> Lol. Going to work. <laughs> Nicely done. I'm not even sure which one's better. I'm not sure who they. Which ones they shot. I mean, he was gonna die anyways, but this way I guess to destroy the idol too. Awesome. So he is in trouble now, now that I got that Psalm Giant out. And I have another Psalm Giant I can go out right now. I don't have enough space on my board though. He just needs two Darklings to win, or a Darkling and a Reef Mask, a Reef Mask and a Reef Mask. But he needs to because I've been destroying stuff every turn because I don't want him to be able to put a Reaping Mask on his thing because Reaping Mask costs so much it's hard to put it on something on the same turn okay Infectious Blight I'm fine with that uh can we win? no we don't have any like Violent Dispersal to get rid of that thing if I had space over here I could place a Sun Giant and just go ham I'm going to sacrifice the Clock Library Spark it's not good enough, is it? Come on. Let's go ahead and play the divinator up top, I guess. And I mean, I guess potion of resistance just in case he was gonna do like a bloodline taint. Because there's really no point in me holding on to cards. Like I'm gonna have card advantage. I'm going to have maybe not card advantage. I'm going to be in to do enough stuff in a turn. Okay. Hit it! Hit it! Oh, so close. That would have been epic. If I can get so much idle damage on that. Okay. I guess if I sparked, if I didn't play the Demon and I sparked this uh, proximity charge, I could have had a small chance to win the game if the mortar hit that, and then I would have these two guys going on the 10 health title. So there's a damage curse, but at least but they had an infectious blight on it. So now his deck's recycling, so I have to clean this game up. Very fast. Um, come on. We are going to get our VDs back in Machine Chest because, yeah. Okay, um. Well, not quite. Not quite. If that was a machine chant, I'd win the game this turn. But 6 plus the 10, I need to make this go off, is not. Not it. Okay, uh. 
I don't think he's gonna make able to get that to go off. Like, oof! I'm just should I spark it? I'm gonna do nothing this turn. Might not be that smart, but. Okay, come on, mortar. Oh, so close. Hmm. He can win so easily if he has two darklings. There's a Reaping Mask. If, he's, if that's all he puts on that row, I can win the game this next turn. He's all he needs is like two Darklings and a Necro Gun. And he puts on a different row, yes? Is he playing back, please? Yes, GG. Oh, oh, if he put that guy on the same rows, that wouldn't be GG. He might probably could win next turn. Phew. So, yeah. Violent Dispersal on you. At least you have 10. And that's GG. GG. WP. That was an intense match of a. Uh, 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 energy versus decay. Wow, energy with one, one, uh, one health on an idol. Whew. Wow. Well, that was a pretty long video, actually. But it was a pretty exciting match, so I'm glad I was able to get that out to you. I'm sorry for the minor interruptions. My mom was calling me. Enjoy the match. Okay. Um, 18, 60. I think we're like in the top 10. But by the end of the week, I would like to be in the top 3. Which isn't that hard because I think Ghost Bomb's only 19, 16 or something. And Ghost Bomb, and Nyx is like 19, 30. But Nick Dean's pretty high there. He's like 19, 60. So that'll be it. So thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you want more content like this. Uh, leave a rating, like or dislike, and tell me uh, how to improve and all that stuff. Um, and keep on playing Scrolls, everybody. And don't forget to submit your top plays to uh, to maybe if you want to be on Scrolls Top Plays of the Week. Uh, for more information uh, videos on my channel about that series. So um, I guess that'll be it. And my mic still might be not the best in this video because my blue snowball comes in the mail I tracked it it comes in the mail for me in the in real life tomorrow which may or may not be the video after this but I don't know so I'll see you next time